Hello, hello, hello. How's it going there, puppers? Can you guys hear me well? Dano, John Merrill, Colby, Silver, Pramster. Again, y'all, uh, welcome to Pub Paints. <laughs> I, I have no clue if this is going to do well or not. Um, and um, this is just kind of an experiment because I've been getting into this anyways, and we'll see how often we do it. Uh, my plan is to do it, you know, once or twice a month, maybe, maybe a little bit more, uh, just to add some variety. Wednesdays are our variety days anyways, so, um, but I was wanting to get the YouTube involved a little bit too, just because I wanted to make sure that there's other things. We can, we'll talk Star Citizen and stuff like that, um, and maybe I'll get a JRDF, uh, a ship, and we can paint that live too, but we'll see. Uh, alright, let's get to, uh, just the, the big screen first, hold on guys. Hey guys. So you'll notice... One second. There we go. That's what I had to do. <laughs> hey, uh, Jonathan. Showing up. Kamasar, yes. New Camp Hudis, yeah. Notice that I'm not in my normal attire. Um, and, uh. Hold on. For the glory of the Emperor, yes. Is you got that helmet though, right? Yes, I do. Um, let me, uh, let me, let me add the, let me do one second. Let me do something real quick, guys. I'm gonna do something crazy, so excuse, excuse the, uh, the save, the, the strange stuff. Uh... Um, go to the bar real quick. File load presentation. No. There we go. Paste. There we go. And of course, there we go. Hey, Polyfaint. Uh, and then paste. So I've got all the all the dancing and stuff in there too, so. Welcome. Welcome to Pub Paints. Notice that I am out of uniform um, for my normal pub because I do not want to get paint all over my suit. If you guys want to know what I usually wear, we stream live on, you know, Tuesdays through 
you know, other things. Uh, hello, fellow humans. Hey, Gunsing. Who's the guy, on the, the guy on the screen? I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. This guy? I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah, I still got the, 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 all that kind of stuff, though. And Volus, thank you for hanging out, man. You should do a beaten up front lines uh, bar diorama that if you, has a few serious reasons Imperial Guards is a battle. M maybe, maybe. But made you choose Imperial Guards. So, Citizen Dell, um, I played um, Space Marines, um, uh, Dark Angels, when I was younger. And the guard had always been, like when I was, when I played as the Dark Angels, one of the things that I always ended up um, enjoying the most about the Dark Angels, what, about Space Marines, was the armor. We got ourselves a Land Raider, me and my cousin and I, and we were just like, we were like, fuck yes, this is, this is awesome. It was terrible, but it was, it's, we were like, yeah, this is awesome. Um, uh, we always wanted to get a Rhino and, and other things like that, but we never did. Um, and then we, we, we saw, we saw like a bunch of armor for like other, you know, Imperium forces, and one of the things was like the Lean and Rust, and we were like, oh, it's so cheap in terms of points. And it looks so fucking cool. <laughs> so that's how we ended up doing it. Um, uh, so that's, that's, why, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. And I looked up a little bit more of the lore. And, and there's something about being a human in a world with gods and demons and, uh, uh, and all devouring swarms and undead robots um, and, uh, and space elves with psychic powers. That being just a human with a flashlight, a, a knife, and, and a pair of gonads, something about that is just very, very, like, it, awesome in terms of that kind of story. Thank you, man. They're not that, they're not that great. <laughs> Who is this? Hey, Bluesy. It's just something about that, you know what I mean? It just there's just something like like enticing about being, and I also love swarm tactics. I love like the guard, the way that the guard played when I looked them up was very much a, um, as far as I understand, is very much gun line. You stand up up in a line, you have forty troops in a line, and they all fire at once. <laughs> you know, that's that's kind of fucking baller. Um, so for those of you guys who are coming in um, from YouTube, welcome. Uh, those of you coming from, from Twitch, welcome. I don't normally do this, and I am not a professional painter in any way, shape, or form. So um, I like to think of myself as the shitty wa watercolor right now of, uh, of, of Warhammer pa painting figurines. I'm just going to do it until I get good at it. Um, and I found it really, really fun and relaxing when I was doing it, when I started p picking up a hobby you know, about a week ago. Um, I did not go crazy, I swear. <laughs> But, uh, I, did, I started off by building a, um, essentially I built two things. I built a, um, a kill team for 40k kill team. Uh, and then I also, in the process I was buying a bunch of like kits. So like, like, like paint, paint kits. Um, Um, and um, because the astronautalum are all about vehicles, um, exactly. I got um, I got uh, but I got the um, I got the uh, infantry set. So um, I think I did pretty good. Um, but I got uh, the the kit come came with a um, a commissar. Uh, and it came with a Lehman Rust tank. And I was like, okay, so a squad of, of, of Cadian infantry, a Commissar, and a Lehman Rust. That's not a bad, I looked up the prices for all of them, I'm like, it's all right. I mean, that's not a bad price, because I got it for like 80 bucks. And the, um, the retail, it retailed for like 100. Um, and the, um, the Lehman Rusts are like alone like 50. Um, and the uh, the Cadian infantry is anywhere between thirty five and forty, so I got a I got a free commissar out of that pack. Yeah, I got the start collecting box set. Um, and then um, 
part, but that was that was when I started, and then I uh, I got um I started looking up the kind of other teams to do, and I've got some other things that are coming in, coming in as well. Um, the Mil Miltarum Tempesta Squad. Um, I got another that shark collecting set as well, um, and. Uh, and I also got a, a command squad just because uh, I got it at a pretty good price. So, there's the Lean Russ. And um, I managed this practically for free because a friend of mine was had it and didn't want it anymore. But. Trimira. So. All told, it was probably about $200, $300, um, plus, plus, uh, um, but, as a result, I have a lot of stuff to paint. <laughs> you seen the guy, uh, the number of guys spent $3,000 plus toys YouTube? I didn't see that. Hey, Snow Shrieker, thanks for that. So I'm planning on doing like a lot of that. I did a lot of practice on my own, but um, I'm planning on doing a lot more of um, this kind of um, content um, to kind of, you know, justify it a little bit. Um, let me show you guys this. This is probably my uh, favorite. It's my first attempt at a kit bash. There we go. The kill team. It's a, uh, this is an aftermarket um, cape and then the aftermarket head. But it's a uh, sergeant for the kill team. Um, so I've been, I've been practicing a little bit with this. So the, the, the practice figurines that I did, uh, it was just the infantry squad got to try to figure out how to paint. They're not great, they're not per uh, but they're, I learned a lot of it more. A aimless. You can take away my spaceship. You can take away my space suit. You can even take away my space lasers, but you can never, ever take away my space game. Oh no, I don't have the set in the scene. Whatever, I'll just dance here. <laughs> I've got to go import that. Hold on. Aimless, thanks so much. Who this? Live. Thank you so much, Aimless, for that that uh, subscription. Uh, that uh, 17 months of subscription. Uh, you rock, man. Shots and cheers in chat, guys. Shots and cheers. Let's get some, some beers in there as well. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, exactly, Polly. I got minis to paint. Did I did my Space Marines. I got Admet, Pock Walkers to go. So many Pox Walkers. So the one of the things that uh, I did as well is we also... I spent more than that because I also we also bought the, um, the Kill Team uh, starter set just because it comes with a bunch of the rules and stuff like that. And um, it's um, and I got Cam. I said like you know, hey, pick pick a pick a group that you like. And she was like, oh, the Harlequins look cool, so she's gonna be doing the Harlequins, um, a Harlequin sweat set. And I didn't realize how many pieces came with <laughs> the Kill Team set. So I'm like, I I will never run out of stuff to uh, to paint. <laughs> Apparently, it's gonna take me forever. All right, so um, just to let you guys also know, I do have a wet palette here. It's a DIY wet palette. I have a dry palette that I was using earlier, but I decided I was going to test out the wet palette a little bit because I've heard that it's uh, it's fairly uh, fairly useful. That's the deep end of paints. Well, Cam does really well. Um, she, she's, she's been painting minis, like, recently that are really detailed. Like, like, um, a fr some friends of ours got a, um, the, like, the minis that were for, um, 
Critical Role, like the first and second season of Critical Role minis. And um, so Cam was like, I will, I, I'll paint that. And just to give you an idea, this isn't mine. This. Hi. <laughs> this is Cam's. Um, she's been using it to to, to paint uh, her her uh, her miniatures uh, that are or her friends' miniatures, I should say. It's called uh, an Ot Light, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Ot Light. She got it as a gift for like Christmas. So. I look so conscientious with that. 40K model painting, yes. Uh, so today is going to be a basic because I haven't finished um, my uh, um, my Canadian infantry set. Um, I will. I'll show you guys that as well if I can. Beginning and the end. So you guys are not finished either, but this is where I started with the minis. A lot of fuck ups with this one. The shading's a little wonky, and I gotta do some more details. And like nothing's, it's not very good, but you know I want to keep it as where it, as it is right now. Um, I think I'm gonna do go over with a little bit of um, more highlighting uh, for that one. Um, but this is the one that I did last, most recently, in terms of full paint. He's still. Come on, focus. Focus. Focus, camera. Come on. I believe in you, camera. You can focus on this. Oh, God. The camera's like, no, it's so ugly. We can't focus on it. Yeah. Really blurry. Yeah. He's better. <laughs> I'll just say that he's better. Um, the uh, the shade was a lot better. Uh, one of the things that I discovered that everyone, all of the new the new guides that I uh, watched for painting minis, they're all wrong. <laughs> they're all just like just just liberally apply the shade everywhere, whatever. And I'm like, why does it look like garbage on mine but perfect on yours? Then finally, I found one that was on shade painting. It was like, yeah, cut that. Cut it with a lot of water or, or, or you know, clean or like paint thinner or some kind of thinner. Thin the hell out of it. It shouldn't be that thick. And I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Because a lot of them were like, like the official, like, uh, Games Workshop one, the Citadel Paints one, which is like, don't thin it. It's intentionally thinned already. It's like, but why does it look garbage? So. But it's seven of the ten infantry on that. So. Ugh. The Emperor protects. Yes. The Zenith techniques? I don't know what that is. The shade that I use is, uh, the shading I use is, is um, essentially just the shade paints that come with, uh, um, that, uh, that are made by um, Games Workshop, by Citadel Paints. I've, I've heard some other, there's some other people out there who, I saw some, some, some stuff like, like, use this type of paint thinner. All right, I gotta click. Hold on, let me, uh...
Put some more water on the, uh... There we go. That's, yeah, that's essentially what, what I do there, Gunslinger. Um, that's how I use with the, uh, what I do with the, uh... With this, but I also have to thin, thin out, thin out a lot more. The Adaptive Mechanics game? I didn't. Is there another one? Because I know there's one that's the, um, the, the Necron, Necron Hive or whatever. The, the one that's like, it's, it's XCOM, but with like the, ne the, the, uh, the, go Tau or go home. I have Tau because they come with the, um, I, I was thinking, so I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing this guy. Um, and, uh, and I've got, I fucked it up and didn't give them the, 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 uh, the proper, uh, headpiece for them, but, um, yeah, it's all right. I knew that, hold on, I need to get a party one. Hello, welcome everyone from Silver K K Kazi Ninja. How you doing, buddy? Uh, file. Save scene. Party. Save. File. Load presentation. No. And offsides. Welcome back, Sebukazi. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Shinobis? Darkness, blackness, party. There we go. So getting used to this one. We'll get back to. So let's get started, shall we? Be so damn hype. Okay. Nice. You were calling an art trade for a friend? Nice, nice. Now, let's get to uh, the first paints. You can yell at me if I'm doing things wrong. I probably am. Um, but let me fuck up and then explain to me later. The first thing I apply is uh, for this one is a Celestia Gray. I probably should have chosen darker gray for the, the base coats of the fatigues, but I like the gray in general. Now, I also want to try to do dry brushing, um, but I'm a little hesitant to do dry brushing. Um, on these guys. All right. Oh, got my water. Let's get to the painting side. Uh, it's not most absurd. It makes a lot of sense when you do things. And I, I apologize again, guys, in advance for all of the, uh, the mess that is going to it's cleaner than it normally is because I cleaned up a little bit, but you still have stuff over here, uh, you know. Painting time indeed. All right, so we're going to go with the, is that the bigger brush. Uh, 
on my wet palette. Throw some water here. A little bit more there. That's a lot of water. can see pretty decently, right? There we go. That's much better. How's your stream there, Shinobi? You're just you're just doing art. Like flicking the brush lightly and raise parts of the surface. I'm gonna do that with my next, uh, the next, like the, the when I'm working on the com my command squad slash my uh, kill team. Essentially, I started going off with the, with the kill team, and then I realized that it was only a few points to get a 500 point army. Which apparently is with a fifth, fifth or ninth edition, um, you have these uh, patrol, so you can actually play without breaking the. Free With your hands that work. <laughs> hey, Odinson, how you doing, buddy? So, what's, what, so that was what behind this time? Where's the shotgun? It's in different places there, Maker. Don't ask questions about these things you don't want to answer. Uh, and of course, YouTube is now not working properly. Hey, Necker, how you doing, buddy? Sorry I didn't see you. Come in.
that give them grave fatigues? Because I imagined, first off, it was, I saw all the other fatigues. I gave them fatigues because, uh, grave fatigues, because I saw all the other fatigues that are normally for the Cadians. And I'm like, that's interesting, but I'd like to do something different. I don't want to do something that's crazy. And so I looked up some of the other patterns and I saw there's a bunch of urban camo ones. I'm like, you know what? The 41st millennium. How often are you fighting in woodlands? I'm down here a little bit. I guess give me a second. In a second. I'm pretty decent with Halo and with 40K. I'm not great. I knew I used to know a lot more about um, the lore, but I was almost when I was a kid. I've almost always focused on the um, just the Space Marines and the Dark Angels. So I know like about the Secret of the Dark Angels and that kind of stuff. I've done some research into the Astra Militarum. People like Creed. Creed. The shit posters like to call them. Apparently, had this broken ass ability to make fucking knights disappear behind fence posts. Two words: distress bacon. Distress bacon. That guy's fatigues are done. We'll go back and look at it here in a bit after it dries a little bit more. More touch-ups. Gaunt's go Ghost Series. Oh, let's check that out. God Emperor Trump. Uh, wrong channel for that one, buddy. First millennium is not exactly the best place to live. That's for sure. The perfect kind of setting for combat. A Vox Caster Trooper here.
there's so many humans that they have to sacrifice m most of them to place things like the guard. The guard is mostly like a sacrificial pit. But they have so many people. And they don't really need. And there's so much food. They can survive. They can, they can force. They can basically allow themselves to lose like billions of individuals. Blood versus Tyranid who wins, Tyranids who wins. The Tyranids are just hungry. That's the thing. Like the flood it consumes because it, it, it wants to, because the grave mine tells them to. Whereas, whereas the, uh, You 500 years people will still set their DNTPs in the early 2000s? Maybe. I mean, I'd, uh, I'd still love to see things like steampunk-inspired alternative uh, universe games for uh, tabletops. I think it would all be awesome if uh, Games Workshop make a resurgence faction from the Men of Iron lore. Don't know too much about that. I'd love for them to do more miniatures for... Uh for the guard though, because I know there's a bunch of different uh, like uniforms and the like. Nice. That sounds like a good idea.
Ja. Oh yeah. Definitely enjoying these. I definitely like to play. I like. To, I definitely like to broadcast me playing the game as well. At least doing like a like a li live battle. That was definitely have to be a scheduled event. I wouldn't be able to do it from like a game store or anything like that. I don't think that's not too bad. This guy's probably done. His fatigues are done. Move on to the sergeant. Uh, I, I find the magnifying hard to use. Because it's like... It works fairly well. For some, for some parts. But then I've also found it hard to kind of like... I try to get I try to use it to get around like the belts and such like that. Charge. I went overboard on the primer for these guys. It's one of those lessons that I learned early on. Like the, when I primed the latest guys, I was much careful, less zealous with the primer. Crocs, it's alright. Oops. I'll go back with that with black paint. Come on, your close ups about what, what you're doing here. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is called base painting. I'm, I'm kind of going around the fatigue areas around his uh, his legs and painting. Uh, what I did before was prime it. So I primed it in black, uh, which is, kind of gives it a nice layer to work from. I'm also being a little sloppy uh, just because, you know, what, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm trying to get delicate where I can. I'm not worrying too much if I make a mistake here or there. Trying to cover the areas that fatigues are. The key with this one, as I've learned, is it's a very light shade of paint. Very light. Um, it's very watered down. It'll dry on pretty, pretty uh, solid. And seam in here. Yep. 
We've got a, uh, a little um, wet palette down there. <laughs> Just happy accidents, exactly. Uh, I got a little wet palette down there, and what a wet palette is is essentially just um, uh, a piece of parchment paper that is set over a, a paper towel that has been wet. So the parchment, parchment paper is damp. And what this does is it allows the paints to stay longer, stay, stay wet and usable longer. It's the first time I've done this, so... They're a little wetter than I would like. But that's okay. Because if it, they're a little wetter, they'll, they'll be pretty thin paint. And I can go back over them later and fill in that paint with another layer. Thin layers allow for build up over time. So it doesn't but it won't look as bad. Thick, thick paint looks kinda nasty. And there's arms here. Going over sergeant stripes, because I will go back over the sergeant stripes. With some um and white to make it stand out a little bit more. These are already starting to dry, which is good. Great. A little bit on his belt, which is fine again. Alright, I think I got most of his. Ooh, gotta get his underarm a little bit here. Kind of go in here. There we go. I wish I could adjust the, the stuff a little bit more. That. So now he's done, uh, at least the first the first step. Now I gotta let his him dry, which is gonna take a bit. Now I'm gonna go back over uh, for the mistake for the mistakes I made and um, pick some of them. In the meantime, I'm going to pick up the original guy and double check him. Gosh, I wish I could get this. Try something real quick. Kind of, kind of see those fatigues. Remember, these things got to be seen like from a little bit further away, so it's not perfect, but it's not bad. How are you doing there, uh, Star Killer Man? Alright, yeah. What am I doing? I gotta paint the rest of his stuff. So, with this guy, I'm now gonna go over him. Where the gray for now. 
it's a good first coat there. I'm gonna go over him with some. Um, let's go over his his metal parts. The metal parts here. Actually, let me shake it up first. Oh, camera died. Watch <laughs> that. So this is um, a Citadel Paints called Lead Belcher. The old bolt gun metal color. Back when I was doing this, I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit. I'm gonna set this one aside actually because uh, I'm gonna try to use this only for that, that color. But I wanna clean it a little bit. Let me get all the gray all over the place. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's it's an old metal. It's the old metal base. <laughs> yeah, it's called lead belcher like that, but all one word. Side and let's get. Look at this guy, he's pretty, he's pretty good. Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna wet my, my brush a little bit. Cut it a little bit more. And then, using the techniques I learned about sharpening the tip. Nice and pointed. Then go over the areas more at all. Grenade launcher. Barrels, the grenade launchers, metal. Now I don't know how good the um, grenade launcher is, but it fit within the army setup I was I was I had, and I figured I'd probably have flamers and stuff like that, as well as plasma guns for other parts of the army. So I wanted to just in case I needed uh, something like this. Mistake, just go back and fix it later. Dad, I'm not exactly a professional painter. Doing this for fun, hanging out with you guys. How you guys? How was your uh, Wednesday? Oh, God, it keeps crashing. Yeah, it should come. It can, it'll come back. Yeah, camera's been doing that kind of weird thing. You paint tanks and stuff. Any of the vehicles? Let me know. There's a bunch of neat little tricks. Yeah, definitely need to know that because I do have the vehicles. Those will come in probably next. Maybe not next week, but next. Aids. All nice and metal. Grenades are metal as fuck.
Looking for next year. Any appointments are accepted at the hospital on my hernia thing? Okay, man. The talent is super pretty, but I'm gonna. Uh, uh, but, but what am I gonna do with another fighter? Exactly. I think it's a pretty good. It, for those who who are looking for a fighter, I think it's a cool fighter um, to to definitely invest into. But still. You can take away my spaceship. You can take away my spaceship. You can take away my space suit. Space suit. You can even take away my space lasers. No pew pews. But you can never, never, ever, ever take away my space game. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much there, Queen Elfie, for that sub. You are a very important pupper, very impressive pisser, very neat pedestrian. This is your fault. You're the reason why I drink at night. Shots and cheers in chat, guys. Shots and cheers. All right. Hey, Queen Elfie. Thank you so much for that. Do we have Thylo Blue? I don't know what that is. I've got McCrag Blue. Uh... Get some... Uh... Here's, there's some more beers for y'all. Just don't know what else to put this guy in silver. I think that's it, though. I'm not going to bother with the trim yet. Yeah, and I'm going to... Nah, I got to get to the other guys, too. So it's Premature cleaning. But put some water on it, anyways. So, ah, man, the, the I'm going to keep this up. Hold on. I know, the camera's down. light real quick see the, the, the metal tipping kind of hard to see, tell but grenades a little bit more metal there I broke it I keep breaking it I know Sitting down here for now all right he is done with his metal bits. Oh, no, he's not. I forgot to do the back of his head. friend the emperor protects oh. 
be next. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up a quick reference for this guy's. Uh, I'm gonna do his gun first, but I'm gonna look up his uh, Voxcaster to see what color it's supposed to be. I imagine it's pretty metal, but knife, both the metal. And then I'm gonna go over over uh, once once we've shaded this guy, we'll go over it with uh, Iron Breaker. Another kind of more metalish hue to it. Gun here, little tip of the metal, little gun. Quite done yet, and in real reality, this stream may just be these three models: the base coating and shade. Just yes, because it takes a while to do some of this stuff, especially with the fine details. I always do the the handle in silver as well, or in metal. Knife handle here, the bayonet. Guard are known for their bayonet charges. Wither them down with line fire and then fix bayonets, baby. What's that, a tank? Cool, fix bayonets. We're gonna melee that thing to death. <laughs> Emperor protects, brother. The Emperor protects. What's that? There's a Chaos Space Marine with a, with a... With a, uh... Chain Maul or whatever? Uh, that's cute. You may kill 17 guard. All it takes is one. Guard. Billions more like him everywhere. Don't work there. All right. I'm going to look up some references real quick, guys, so we can do this. A lot of the metal pipings they do with metal. All right. So, we use backpack. I know the camera's done. I'll wait for it to try to, uh, there it goes, come back. It's this weird thing where it's, because it's not liking the fact there are two cameras. It's, uh, Vox Caster all nice and silvery. I know we've got other 40k players. What is, what is your, in chat, guys, what are, what, what? What armies did you choose, or did you used to used to play as, and why? I've heard Tau are pretty cool, and I like Tau because Tau seem a lot in terms of the way they play. Seems a lot like the uh, the guard, but with more um, with power armor, which is kind of cool. And mechs, so, you know, hey, I'm a sucker for mechs.
Imperial Guard for you there, JR. Nice. Red makes it go faster. But how? It just does. More DACA. Fucking psychic mushrooms, man. I have a feeling that this uh, this Vox caster is going to have a lot of uh, get a lot of orders to fix bayonets. <laughs> There's the commander say, fix bayonets. All right, lads, you know the drill. I like the Katachans, the Jungle Warriors. Jungle Warriors are pretty cool, yeah. I like the Cadians just because the Cadians are just kind of... I mean, I know they're kind of the default, but Cadians are just kind of crazy bastards. Um, oh, the um, the Sentinels, yeah. Now, the Sentinels are now all all guard, not just uh, not just the, the Katachans. Um, but, um, yeah, the, the Sentinels. I need to get myself some Sentinels for my, my army just because of the... Uh, Fast attack nature of them. Don't have anything like that. But I, I heard 9th edition changed some rules around where you can fire, uh, armor can fire into combat now, so. Heard that, I was like, cool, bro. Time to put some heavy flamers on everything. <laughs> Why? Because. <laughs> oh. Oh, you poor sweet thing. I'm gonna get into the, into melee range of this this Lehman Russ. Cool, bro. Enjoy enjoy f the flames. <laughs> enjoy the purge. I'm not really into like competitive, the competitive side of things. I'm gonna play the game and have fun, but. like the books the books are pretty cool i know the camera goes down I, I always give it a few seconds to boot back up like that because i don't know what's going on with it i'll figure out what 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 the, uh, what's going on wrong with it here in a bit boxcaster has a lot of metal parts to it the lore is pretty cool I don't have any old, uh, any of my old pieces. They stayed at my friend's place many years ago. I know that feeling, yeah. 
Imperial Guard's just is a battle. I've heard souping is kind of bad now, uh, which is like when you combine different uh, armies together. But that would be kind of cool. I've learned all the turns. Or a lot of the turns. Not ideal. Not terrible. Let's look at the. Uh... Well, to be fair, the husk that survives isn't exactly a. Um... He's not exactly uh, a huge like figure. Like he doesn't want didn't want to be a husk, you know. Do the. Um... Oh yeah, he's, oh, he, he doesn't have a face. But we will do. Now, this is where I'm going to need the, uh, the magnifying glass. Very tiny details. More details in that. Getting this, these handles here on the side. Crazy thing about the 40k universe is that it's a universe where nobody really knows how the machines work, they just work. <laughs> Speak to the machine spirit. details in here. Yeah, no one's really good in the 40k universe, to be fair. I guess the closest would be the towel. They're not, they're not exactly perfect.
Ah, uh, these details are a pain in my ass. Got it. Yep. I'm good. I'm gonna have to go over some details in black. That's hard for you guys to see this, but I'm getting all the antenna. Antenna wasn't quite painted black. The touch-up details here. Our name is Talos. We want the best for everyone. What's better for everyone is part of to be part of our empire. Exactly. They're very Roman. All of you are barbarians. You should all just want to be, be Romans. You just all want to be part of the towel. That's the greater good, right? Now, they are religiously tolerant. They remind me a lot of like the covenant, though. Kind of like a more religiously tolerant covenant. See the details in the back here. All that silver, I gotta go over it. I'm gonna keep it black, because the black is the main color, but there's all that detail, pain in my ass. But I like it. I'm happy with that. Thank you guys for coming in and hanging out and watching and chilling. Trophies and models, I can imagine. Like the wet palette. Charges uh, Laz pistol. See, yeah, I'm gonna go absolutely nuts with this this army. I'm gonna start naming all all the troopers. Now, of course, they're all gonna die, but they're still gonna have they're all gonna have uh, personalities. Like I might actually call my commissar Commissar Shelley, because I'm I'm vain like that. Primer, um, it depends what you want there. Uh there, Volpine. Painting min minis, right? Um, it, what minis are you using? Because the if you're doing like Warhammer stuff, um, Citadel paints are pretty good. They're expensive, but pretty good. Vallejo paints is pretty good. Uh, I get the, the the rattle can spray pine primers because they they help a little bit. They make it a little things a lot easier. Um, this is the one I have. Uh, Vallejo hobby paint. black. Um, you don't have to print prime in black, but black is an easy color because it, you can go over it pretty easily and makes details pop. It just any kind of, it also make your colors a little bit darker when you, when you do that. So I've seen some recommendations for like gray or white primer as well. Minis, infinity minis. Um, yeah, Vallejo is usually pretty good. Uh, or Army Painter, both of those are pretty good. Uh, most people will recommend Army Painter, Reaper, Vallejo, or Citadel. Um, I think honestly, uh, when you're getting to paints, um, the shade, the Citadel shades, like um, like uh, Nolan Oil and stuff like that, these are probably the best shades. Um, on the market because they're so you can get them in gloss forms and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I uh, you're 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 probably going to find at a, like a local hobby shop, like a hobby town. Um, you'll be able to or, or your your local friendly hobby store. 
There's plenty of them out there. You'll probably be able to find Vallejo, the best, or Army Painter. And um, everyone I've talked to says Vallejo is very noob friendly. Um, and most people kind of do a combination of different paints. So, no problem, man. I'm just starting up myself. I haven't painted minis in forever. So, a lot of this stuff is me uh, with a lot of practice and patience, is what it is. And watching a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, let's see what I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Sergeant. Um, pull up some references for this. There you go. Hello and welcome to. A no, no, I didn't want. I didn't want that. That's a YouTube video. I don't, I want the I want images. Images to reference. I really also really wish that that freaking um, Games Workshop would come out with like female models for their um, for guard and stuff like that. Uh, Vallejo spelled. Um, it's a I think it's technically a um, a Spanish company, but it's V A L L E J O. I think they're from Spain. Originally, though they could be from the United States. Oh, that drive. Gotta get that chain sword all nice and shiny. I always wondered. Your average guard's lifespan is like 14 hours. So how many sergeants have battle experience? Wonder, you know? of this chainsword here. Possibly. I mean, vet, gr grizzled veteran guard end up becoming like retinue for like company commanders and such. Quick. Good. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll do his headset as well. Hair. I want to keep. I don't want to keep his hair black.
face all silvery. If you're, you're getting pain in the ass, oh, Citizen Dell, shut up. <laughs> is this the music you listen to? Also, this is awesome. Lots of same music on my playlist. Uh, not really. A lot of this music is is stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll have in the background and such, but it's not like super like my my cool thing. I, I enjoy it. It's very chill. It's um, but a lot of this is actually royalty free because it's um. All right. I think I'm gonna do the white first. I'm gonna do black last, the kind of the black touch ups. What I'll do is I'll go back and do the gray touch ups when I need to. in these uh, brushes a little bit. Water. Brush, proper brush care is very important. Metal bit isn't clogged with paint. Rinse in your paint brushes frequently. Not ruining <laughs> paint. All right. Some white scar. Crystal. That's Simmer Simmer White. Right, right. All right. Now these are very gloopy paints. Really need to, to uh, water these things down because if you don't. All right, Aquila's. Aquila's and then the guard symbols. with these ones because they kind of glooped on. Sorry if they're a little messy. Go back and try to get some of these in black again. There's not anything in the back really, so... Another camera. 
It'll come back here in a second. If it doesn't, yell at me, chat. There it goes. If you ever ask any questions about, about what I'm doing or how I'm doing this, a lot of this is done through a lot of research on my part. I don't know if this is exactly the way it's supposed to look like, but this is what my wet palette looks like right now. All right, I think I'm done with the white for this guy. White for the uh, box trooper here. I know, it's probably terrible. <laughs> I have no idea. This is an experiment for uh, for wet palette work. Gotta do them to make the, the, the minis pop a lot more. They are not fun. That's it. Yeah, that's it for this guy. I have no idea either. You can either tell me anything about what it's supposed to look like, and I'd believe you. There's a lot of like DIY stuff on 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 the on the YouTube's that will uh, or on the internets that'll tell you how to make wet palettes. Um, you can buy them as well, but the the homemade ones work fine. Feel on this guy's crest. I know camera's out. Let's see if it comes back up. Okay. Gotta look and figure out what the heck's wrong with that thing. Back over that. Thank you. 
don't. The buckle uh, right here. Alright, I'm gonna go into do some detailing with this guy as well. With uh, non white. I gotta change that from the expanse to our citizen or to whatever we're doing. To uh, Star Trek, or Star Trek. Perfect. Touch ups here and there. They cover in some of these areas. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, guys. Like I said, we should get to the shade paints before we uh, call it a night. White done. I'm going to go over the areas that I screwed up on with my black. That way we've got a nice cool primer to work with. Uh, what made you choose Imperial Guard? Hey Dyson. Um, I chose Imperial Guard because um, the idea of like your average dude in, in a universe where demons and gods and monsters ravenous hordes um sentient uh fungus sentient psychic fungus undead machines you know space wizards in a world where all of those things exist the guard are just normal people And that appealed to me. Also, uh, swarm tactics. I love I love the idea of swarm tactics and like line the the line line and charge kind of stuff. All that sort of thing appeals to me. Also, they have cool as fuck armor. Like their 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 tanks are cool as shit. I gotta go back over that again with the gray. see this a little bit better I'm a little bit more lined out here don't want to go too crazy oh I forgot his white Aquila on his uh, last pistol
Oh yeah, it's a lot of painting, but I'm okay with that. It means I have a lot of time to paint, a lot of time to chill. Hey, Nax, how's it going, buddy? Just working on this sergeant here. I gotta like Just getting the base coat done. Chilling out, hanging out. How you doing there, Nax? Yeah, let's get the... more black on this thing I fucked up and got some uh, some of the ranking markings wrong so I had to go back and change them oh I probably fucked up the ranking markings all over the place oh I forgot to get speaking of ranking markings fuck I should have gotten stripes you know I was gonna do I was gonna do do those ranking markings you know I'm not gonna bother the ranking markings until after you know, actually, no, I should probably do that. Actually, not bad. Turn it kind of into a patch. Let's <laughs> do that. Wow. That little clumsy, Paul. I, yes, I did. I got a Lehman Russ and uh, a Chimera. I didn't go overboard, okay? You can take away my spaceship. Go my spaceship. You can take away my space suit. Go my suit. You can even take away my space lasers. No pew pews. But you can never. Never. Ever. Ever. Take away my space game. Knowledge. Give me a second. Will I get timed out for a day for this too? Yes, you will. Time out. No, you won't. How's it going, Knowledge? Thank you so much for that support, man. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for that 19 months of support, man. Some, uh, here's the chat.
But love you guys get a chance to. Thank you for guys coming and hanging out. How long have I been streaming for? Two hours? I'm not even close to being done. Jesus Christ, I thought it was going to be a lot shorter than this. <laughs> I'm told Cam's like, nah, don't worry about it. It's probably not going to be that long. I haven't even done the skin yet. <laughs> I'm just now doing the touch-ups. Yeah, this is fine enough. Good. That's good enough. Yeah, that's the reason why I like doing it is because it's very relaxing. So like even having a lot having a lot of minis isn't always a bad thing. For me, it's a, it's actually kind of a good thing because it means I can have more time to paint. When I get to the vehicles, that's gonna be a little bit harder. Now I'm gonna go back over this guy. Some black. And fix some of my fuck ups here. Go through and fix that as well. Any edges here? The edges of his armor. Stand out nice and black. This, this black and everything else black. Fix this somehow. Painting is very chill. Warhammer painting is mostly an excuse for me to paint minis again. And to enjoy myself doing so. It's fine. It's relaxing and fun, and hopefully you guys are enjoying some good conversation and hanging out and watching me paint. I'll, I'll figure out how to do... Um, the, the, this stuff a little bit better, like the the camera work a little bit better, but I may need some like better lighting or something like that. And cranny here. Just kind of touching up his uh, fatigues a little bit in the places where it was a little sloppier than I should have been. In some lighter areas.
Grab us there. Screw that one up. <laughs> watch, watch paint dry. Yeah, exactly. You can't even see what you're painting sometimes. I know. I'm trying to keep it up here so you guys can see what I'm doing, but it's hard for me to get all of the details. As is right now. A learning experience for me as well, trying to broadcast this stuff, guys, so bear with me. I'll have to go back over him a little bit more. Touch up those little spots again, but he is ready for. Oh nope! I got one more little thing I can touch up on his on his helmet, and then we'll move on to um, the flesh paint. Painting the flesh. It's mostly black, but you can start seeing some of the parts in white coming out. The middle part's more reflective. So the key is I'm going to get the face next. And once the face comes in, you sort of start to see it pop it out a little bit. Katia, yep, there, Kistos. Uh, I'm sort of batch painting. Um, because I already batch painted most of them, these are the ones I left for the actual stream. The camera's down, I know. Um, these are the ones I left for the actual stream to do. Any of the here a little bit because I've got some of this. Some more black on this. Katie lives. Katie stands, brothers. Katie stands. Creed lives.
know you guys can't see this, I'm just getting some little tiny detail work done. Trying to clean up as much as I can on this. Going into, uh, if we're going into the next stages, these, this is the part that's kind of time consuming and relaxing, but very slow. Slow, patient work. Once I've done these touch-ups, and they're good to go, I'm going to shade it. Okay. I think he is done. Large. Sure, I've got all of his stuff done. He looks fine. Yeah, it looks good. good enough that's close enough all right then to make some some upgraded guard models because some of the sculpts are really old they're like 20 years old apparently hey mr square pack again no song quest though guards one of their more popular ones but they it's it's freaking space marine space marine space marines brother i mean I, and i enjoy space marines don't get me wrong i understand why they're popular and why gw wants to support them But the guard is something you could really improve upon. No. Good. We're good. He's ready. I know you guys can't see this right now, or the camera's off, one of the two, but I'm really careful and I, I need to be in a kind of a very specific position for this. There we go. Perfect. So we got a stripes. See the stripes, certain stripes are in black. All right. Yeah, my paintbrush needs his own camera for, for seeing all the detail work. What I need to do is kind of figure out how to do the, the, the painting camera a little bit better. I need it in a way that I can, you guys can see what's going on, that it doesn't like interfere with it with the camera. I might have to get like a boom or something like that for that. 
Put some put on their on their foreheads, yeah. Praise the Ultramarines, yeah. Yeah, that or 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 they sell a kidney in the Forge World, yeah, because Forge World is the only place you can get. God damn, man, and and mo most of Forge World hasn't even been updated recently, right? It's been years since they actually did like anything from the Forge World, to my understanding. Touch up that. Floppy, but not bad. Hmm. And here a little bit. I do this, the flesh last just because I've had such. I, I'm gonna suck at the flesh, guys. You're gonna you're going to laugh at how bad my flesh is. I need something to offset this. I think I'm gonna have to do the metal. Yeah. Once the face comes on, it'll start standing out a lot more. Do the metal real quick. Put the Sarge to the side real quick. My pasty paint game fresh, you know that. You know, oh, thank you, Cupan, thank you. <laughs> um, yes. More, more paint. Getting in on the uh, the drum of the grenade launcher, make it all sparkly and shiny. Offset the uh, rest of the uh, the gun because it needs to kind of stand out a little bit more. Right now, it just looks like a big black unpainted mess. But with the uh, addition of some shiny metal paint, it'll look a lot better. That's hard for you guys to see because I, again, this detail work requires me to be a little bit more careful. But you can already kind of see the drum there on the other side that I painted.
It doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to be as detailed as possible. over with some detail but you guys can see <laughs> change this light around it, the, now the grenade launcher stands out a lot more because it's got that uh that drum Elon and everything. It's starting to come together. Once the base paint's done, you guys will start to see it pop a lot more. That one, I think we're good. All right. I'm gonna skip straight to the Sarge, where I'm going to give him a bit of a metal belt buckle. And we'll do his face. He is good enough. Government work. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna retire this brush. Uh, the detail brush of detail brushes. Pull out Bugman's glow. thin this thing out. Nice tip to it. Detail work down here. Over his face a little bit more. The edges. A little bit more.
May I link? Uh, yeah, give me, let me get you permissions here in a second. Hold on. Permit. You're good. Ninety percent done. That looking that's looking sweet, buddy. I have no place to comment because I am as, as bad. They look a little dry. They look good, but it looks like they need to have like some sort of gloss put on them or something like that. Maybe some highlighting here and there. They look fucking bad writing to me, man. Nice man, it's really those it's really good. You guys should all check that link that that link out. It's pretty good. It's not bad. So you can see that his face pops out more. With that done, everything else seems to pop a little bit more. We're going to do some detail work here in a bit, but uh, that guy looks pretty good. Yeah, that's going to be the detail work. So like after I go through, I'm going to wash this, which basically means I'm going to uh, put a little a special type of paint on it that brings out a lot of the details on it. Um, after I wash it, I'll, I'll go back and I'll add those details, like those little touches, like the blood on the chainsaw and uh, like battle damage on his armor, that kind of thing. All blood for the blood god if you want to do that. Okay. I mean, I'll probably just use um, the red I have and kind of... The technical paints like the detail stuff, I know. Alright. I look at the grenader, who is a little bumpy. This Bugman's here. The hand's done. The hands of the sergeant as well.
All right, I'm going to go in the face a little bit more. Light layer in there. How about some of those details? Okay, he's done. Edgy Sharp, how you buddy? Use it on my Space Wolves uh, frequently. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, a kill squad of, um, kill squad, um, a kill team of Space Wolves that I have to uh, paint up at some point. can't see this but these are really small details I need to get really close to my face to kind of paint over them the, the magnifying glass just kind of throws off my perspective I don't really need to see this area better I just need to be able to find kind of use depth perception a little bit better this Some tree printer, uh, nice printer. Nice, man. Nice. Let that dry and then go in and do some touch ups and then we'll do the wash. Do the hands first. Keep going in here. I'll do this. I can still do this and uh, kind of work on this. You guys can see kind of what I'm doing. Again, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. If you guys want to comment, feel free to comment on how shitty I am as a painter. I'm definitely learning.
there. Not bad. I did. I used a, a Vallejo, Vallejo um, black primer, um, a rattle cans primer. A lot of people will use. Um, um, we'll use like um, airbrush, like Nax, who's hanging out in chat. He uses airbrushes, which is uh, neater. You don't have as many, it's, it's like smoother as well. But the rattle can's great for beginners. If you kind of just, if you, if you as long as you kind of look up what you're doing, kind of figure out how to treat what you're doing. Yeah. And the Bugsman Glow, Bugsman Glow is really important. I started this without the Bugsman Glow. I was doing the, uh... all right, so, I'm going to go back and do some touch-up work with the gray. <laughs> Give me a rent. I'm really happy with this, to be honest. And I'm getting a lot better. I can tell I'm getting better. Gosh, because that one is... I'm gonna have to go deep wash that one. It's a little too watered down now. Not done with you yet. too intense there. Ah, nice. It is worth something. Thank you guys for watching, by the way. The sergeant is looking good. He's looking to die for the emperor, y'all. It's just probably painting her mechanical keyboard. Definitely arts and crafts if she's painting it. Good.
Let me pull the, the, the light away again so you guys can see a little bit. Good, right? Yeah. And I haven't even done any of the, the detail work yet. just touch-ups on the different aspects of the uh, the armor and such. All right, we're good with most of this. Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, we need black. That's what we need to do. I'm sort of there. This looks good. He's ready to be washed. Bella needs to get some detail work done as well. Get him. I did the buckle, yeah. And I'm gonna go over it one, after it's washed. It's gonna take two hours for it to wash, so we'll, we'll finish it up after we wash it. Feels good. He is ready for the wash. I'm gonna let him dry a little bit though. A little bit more metal on this guy. Sergeant. All right. Let's chill a little bit, wait for these guys to dry. Shouldn't take about a couple minutes. Oh. Hey, listen, don't don't you shit on anime titties there, Odinson. That's some wholesome all-American content right there. A lot of channels yeah oh yeah Ugh. welcome again thank you guys for hanging out with us so far make sure you guys are retweeting and spreading the love if you guys enjoy this we'll do these again more often
get some more beers there. I got one too, but it was for PS4. I couldn't do it. 40K? Yep, Pig and Linus God. 40K. We've been painting uh, my uh, guard army. I don't want to go through the wa through washing it. Do the flesh shade first. Yep, Imperial Guard. Imperial Fist Army years ago. Yeah, I, I had a Dark Angels Army when I was like younger. And I find I, I found that painting minis is very relaxing and very fun. While this is waiting, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go watch some of these uh some of these uh brushes off so that I don't have to uh go absolutely ape <laughs> with the uh with stuff. Be right back. I love this IG, especially the artillery. Yeah, artillery are fucking amazing. Uh, that's essentially what I've been told about about the about the guard is that the play the guard if you want mass infantry supported by heavy artillery and uh, and armor, cheap armor, freaking Lehman Russ's baby. Giving them more stuff, but I also got to get the bases done at some point. All right. Whew. This is where. I'm going to be very cautious because the washes always screw up the minis. Back to the uh, paint. Time for rocks and garbage. Comes out the dice and, and carnage. Yeah. 
Oh, I also just took a shower, so. Gotta do the flesh wash first. All in there. done. That should take about five minutes for him to wash or for him to dry. In the meantime, we'll get next one done. The key with the wash is just to make sure nothing pools. What this is, is essentially like really watered down paint. It's, got, it's more than that, it's got some other formula in, in it, but um, what it does is it sinks to like the crevasses in the models. So like all the recessed areas will pop out more because it'll like stain that area. You can think of it as, as like paint or paint stain or something like that, staining. this guy. so it's not pooling. You can see this the best on his head. His, his features are definitely coming out a little bit more. More depth. It can do that, the washes, um, but they also do help bring out the details a lot more, which is why you have to paint over them afterwards. All right, I'm gonna wash you pretty thoroughly. You are done for the night, because I need you to be dry. You are. Chain sword. I mean, it's not too many layers of paint on this. I love the chain sword. All right, so this first guy should be dry. Touch his face a little bit. Touch your face. Yeah, he's dry. So, now what we do is we take 
I'm gonna take Agrax. That was um, Fleshland um, Flesh Shade. Uh, Flesh Shade. I'm working Flesh Shade. I'm gonna take Agrax Earth Shade, which is this one here. I'm going to now go from the very top of the head and work my way all the way down to the very bottom. I'm gonna make sure because it's really, uh, really strong. Earth shade is. It's like a very muddy brown too. So I'm gonna make sure to water it down so that when I leave streaks, yep, yep it's almost ready. One more. Perfect. All right. So now what I'm going to do is turn this off, move this up, put it away. I'm just going to kind of go all over the top and work my way down in the helmet. Add a little bit of a shader to it, make it a little older looking. Weather beaten. Also bring out a lot of the creases and such. The details. Perfect. So go over this with this. Top down, all over, blaze to it. Going over one more time real quick. Now, hard to tell, but you can start seeing the details pop out a little bit more. In the creases and the folds of the of the fatigues. And the bits of the of the uh, the weapon. The decals. You know it, boo. Mega Ultra Nerd. Let's go next. How you doing there, boo?
Thank you guys for the way you're watching us on uh, YouTube as well. It's nice to have you guys here. in here two and I'm gonna do one two three four five six there we go that should be good yeah It's been a while. You don't collect stuff, but I, the painting would be fun. Painting is really relaxing, I've found. Painting minis is very fun, very fun and relaxing. It's a lot more fun and relaxing than I remembered it being when I was a kid. And again, I wasn't really painting minis for like... Painting minis because I wanted to play the game. Not necessarily because I wanted to paint minis and make cool looking things. Prototyping? Nope, oh, nope. I am um, just finishing up the the shades for my last guy. So I'm pretty much done in terms of um, in terms of uh, my prototyping stage. Threaded, uh, threaded mode? Yeah. This reply feature? Hmm. Relaxing is an activity, yeah. There's a reply button on Twitch? What the heck? I didn't know that.
this a little bit more. Is the constant chat spam? Yeah. I enjoy those, those, but I also don't watch those for the chat. I usually watch them for like the, the content that the streamer is doing. You can see that shade doing its work. Move the uh, the man with a sword exactly money to get uh, to care anything about that exactly hope you guys enjoyed this I enjoyed it these every so often on Wednesdays. Um, now, I likely, just the reality is because we're moving. Um, but as you don't know, we're moving sometime in the beginning of September. Um, I probably won't be streaming on um, uh, that week. Uh, I might do some check-ins here and there, but that'll probably take that week off because there's going to be a lot of setups and those kind of things. My bit sounds are off. Are they? I'll have to turn those on. Sorry about that, Odinson. We'll do, yeah. Thank you guys for coming and joining us for this. Fun. I'm, I'll show you guys all the videos. I think you can actually kind of see these pretty well. Turn off this damnable light. A little blurry. Focus. There we go. Can 
You can see the little like, creases in his uniform pop out a lot more. Micro lens, yeah. So the key is now to do highlights. Um, I'm going to go back and highlight his face a little bit with, um, not right now, but uh, soon with um, Kedian flesh. Um, and then uh, like give some of the marks with it, with Kit, Kit, yeah, Kisiev, Kisiev flesh. Uh, I'm gonna go back over with, um, Iron breaker layer to kind of cover all the metal parts again with a little bit more metal. Um, and then um, maybe uh, I'll try to do some dry brushing, but I don't have a, a layer, highlight layer for the fatigues yet. Um, so let's so go through and dry brush the fatigues a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it's been kind of our our experience as well. Set everything on fire. I mean, uh, he needs a highlight. They, they all need like a highlighting, but this is a pretty good stopping point, you know. Like I could put this guy on the field with this with, with like this. I could put him on the field, and he'd be uh, he'd be fine. Like you wouldn't be able to really like it look really good, nice and detailed. But he's not done yet. for details <laughs> well with a lot of this stuff it's um it's not super bad like most people don't go super overboard but there are some people who are very meticulous about how they make things and what they make so and like you can see like on like if you can see the armor here See the armor there? It's kind of flat, right? So what I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in on the, um, I'm gonna go in with uh, like the silver and then underline the layers of the flat uh, of the armor. So it gives it a little bit more depth and stuff like that. Essentially go line by line. And all the raised areas where you on the fatigues, I'm going to give it another coat of uh, of the paint a little bit for more details. Make everything pop out more. I'm gonna take a picture and I'll, I'll bring it up here in a second uh, of the full squad. This is the full squad done now. You guys can see the full squad. They're not, they got some of their details still need to get done, but.
go. Boop, boop. I'll post it up on the Discord, then I'll pull it up and put it on the screen here. As you guys can see, that's what they look like right now. Some of the guys in the back are the ones of the older ones. The first ones I did, you can kind of see them. They're, they look a lot dirtier than the ones in the front. I still haven't gone through all the details and stuff like that, but that's kind of what I've been doing. You see, like, the guy's armor's got a little bit of a, you know, I got to go back through and, and kind of mark, mark, up, mark up the details a little bit, maybe make those markets. Squad goals, exactly. That is a full squad of Cadian um, infantry. Ten infantry soldiers. Uh, that's eight Laz rifles, one Laz pistol, a uh, chain sword, and a grenade launcher. So, pretty details. Yeah, and a lot of those details, like the cloth is is built into it, but like with the with the the shade, you can see that like, the creases in the cloth look a little bit more realistic. And because of um, how Agrax Earth, Agrax Earth shade works, it it's more of like it gives it kind of more of an earth tone, so it kind of gives it more of a cloth feel to it. The armor still needs to get a little bit more highlights and details and that kind of stuff, but. Uh, and I got to go back and and do highlights on the face for some of the guys we just did tonight. But and that's and of course what I just did is something that most minis won't get, which is a super close up, um, like picture like that. And you can see where I was sloppy in some of the paints and stuff like that. But Uh, all right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out. I will see you guys tomorrow for some Star Citizen. For those of you guys who watch me for Star Citizen, I will be doing some Zero to Hero content, so make sure you guys join us there. Um, and, um, yeah, then Friday we'll do... Uh, we'll do uh, our bar streams again. So... Uh, and of course, Friday we'll be we're doing um, um, Friday we'll be doing um, or Saturday we'll be doing uh, our tabletop RPG game for Star Wars. Um, uh, it's called The Wretched Hive. We're going to be showing Episode Zero, which is a pre-recorded one, and then we'll be doing Episode One just after that one. So feel free to join us for that. And then of course, Captain's Table after that. It's a special Captain's Table with Meyer and Hazard. Uh, and uh, for those of you guys who enjoy the Galactic Historian content, we are going to be doing... <coughs> we are going to be doing um, Galactic Historian stuff. Um, uh, or we have done a Galactic Historian episode. is out now on the Idris. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out on YouTube. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. Love your faces, and like I say every time, hope to see you guys again soon. But if I don't, hope to see you someday. The black. Later, fellas. And ladies. And NBs. You know. I will give you 100 beers, though.
More to the right. More to the right. Zylo is streaming Star Citizen. I'm gonna go raid Zylo. The fuck was Zylo? <laughs> 